Uh, today we will talk about the bones of the uh, lower uh, limbs. As you can see, the lower, the lower, the bones of the lower uh, limb are made of the hip bone and the femur. This is the bone of the uh, thigh, and of course the tibia uh, and the fibula which are the bones of the leg and then we will talk later on about the uh, bones of the foot uh, today i will focus uh, about uh, i will focus uh, about the uh, hip bone uh, let's isolate the uh, hip bone uh, from its position and okay Let's make it big as we can, and then we will talk about it in details. As you can see, the hip bone uh, uh, is made out of three parts. The ilium, this one, this part. The pubic part. And the ischial part. The another view from the from this side here. Posterior view. This is again the ilium. It is superior, and the two bones inferior. The ischial one and the pubic one. The three bones they meet each other at the acetabulum. This is the acetabulum, and they all share in the formation of the acetabulum. Now I would talk about each part of them. As you can see, the ilium, uh, it is a flat bone. It has anterior superior iliac spine. Uh, if we go backward with the anterior superior iliac spine, we would see a flattened area called the iliac crest. It ends by becoming the uh, posterior superior iliac spine. Here, from this view, we go. Here, in this area. Okay. Now. That was the anterior superior iliac spine. I can demonstrate it here on the skeleton. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. As it goes backward, this is the iliac crest. Uh, both the anterior superior iliac spine and the iliac crest both can be felt uh, under the skin, subcutaneous. Now, if we go from the anterior superior iliac spine downward with face and find and you can feel it here the anterior inferior iliac spine this one here now if we go backwards right we, parietal bone we would see another spine here projection it is the posterior inferior iliac spine. So ultimately, the ilium, it is a flat bone and it has four uh, spines, the anterior inferior, the anterior superior iliac spine, and the posterior superior iliac spine, and the posterior inferior iliac spine. Uh, the ilium is divided into two surfaces, the uh, smooth surface, this one here, which can be easily named the iliac fossa it gives the origin to a very important muscle iliacus muscle and a rough uh, posterior area this area is for the articulation of the uh, sacroiliac joint and of course for the interosseous ligaments uh, supporting that joint so uh, this area it looks like uh, a human ear pinna like the ear it is for the articulation of uh, the sacroiliac joint and above it here uh, uh, a rough area for the uh, 
interosseous ligament that support uh, that ligament. So, uh, as you can see, the the surface, the inner surface of the ilium can be easily divided into two parts. Smooth part, iliac fossa, gives origin to the iliacus muscle. A posterior rough part can be easily divided into two parts, uh, uh, like an ear uh, uh, shaped for the articulation of the sacroiliac joint, and of course here for the interosseous uh, ligament. Okay, let's do it from the other side. This is posterior side. It's fibrous two. capsule of left elbow joint. Now we are facing the bone from lateral, posterior lateral. Okay, this is anterior. And as we go backward, it is posterior. As you can see, all the parts are here with their names. Um, on this area, on the posterior surface of the ilium, you would feel during your practical sessions the presence of uh, three lines. Uh, these lines are uh, uh, made by the origin of uh, three muscles, the gluteus, uh, the two muscles, gluteus maximus uh, muscles. Uh, we will talk about them uh, in details later on. Okay, so uh, the ilium, you need to know uh, these uh, parts about, the, about it. Then let's go back and talk about this part, the pubic bone. As you can see, the pubic bone, it has a superior ramus, a body, uh, and inferior ramus. Uh, the superior ramus, it is, let's face it here. Okay, as you can see on the dorsal surface of the ilium, uh, as it is mentioned here, uh, the anterior gluteal line, uh, the middle or also called the anterior gluteal line, and of course the posterior gluteal line between these lines are areas for the attachment of the of the uh, muscles uh, called gluteus maximus medius uh, and uh, minimus mainly medius and uh, minimus of course gluteus maximus would take a small area behind this uh, line leaving all this area for to be shared between the gluteus medius and uh, maximus. Now let's talk about, about the pubic bone. Uh, the pubic bone has superior ramus, inferior ramus, and a body. On, the, on this, from this view you can see the uh, pubic tubercle. This is the pubic tubercle. It is a lateral, it is a lateral projection uh, from the uh, pubic bone. You can. Uh, it is very important in a differentiation of inguinal uh, hernias. Uh, also, if we go uh, a bit medial to it, we can identify the uh, uh, iliac uh, pubic crest. So we have two points here to be appreciated. The iliac, uh, the pubic tubercle, which is uh, projecting laterally, and of course on the medial side it is the pubic crest. Now we can uh, look at this surface, symphysial surface of each bone. Uh, this is uh, the area for the attachment of the fibrocartilage symphysis pubis between the two bones. Uh, so this is, we call it, symphysial part. Two, three things you need to appreciate on the pubic bone, the pubic tubercle, pubic crest, and symphysial uh, surface. It's an easy part of this bone. Now let's move and see the ischial part of this bone. As you can see, the ischial uh, part of the hip bone, uh, it has a body and a ramus called ischial ramus. Uh, as we go up, it has a projection called ischial spine. This is a very important landmark. Uh, above it, we would see, and you need to appreciate this, 
in your practical sessions the greater sciatic foramen now below it the lesser sciatic foramen so that is the sciatic and you can see it from this view posterior view of the bone this is the ischial spine above it greater sciatic foramen below it lesser sciatic foramen now for the practical you need to appreciate this mm -hmm. while we sitting we are sitting on the ischial tuberosity this is a very important part of this bone this is the ischial spine and we have here an isch the ischial uh, tuberosity the ischial tuberosity gives the origin to all the muscles and the of the posterior compartment of the thigh so we need also to find it uh, more details on this maybe on the next uh, uh, session so let me summarize to you again the uh, the ischial bone the ischial bone it has eremus body ischial spine ischial tuberosity four things that you need to look for during your practical uh, sessions now we have finished from the uh, the three bones the three bones they meet each other in the middle in what we call the acetabulum now the acetabulum it has parts also this is the lunar surface it is smooth lunar it means uh, like the uh, crescent moon okay lunar uh, area and of course acetabular fossa it is non-articular fossa uh, for of course to protect some blood vessels coming from there the ilium as a bone and the ischial part plus the pubic bone we should consider them in adults as one bone before the age of 18 they connect to each other through the acetabulum triradiate cartilage can be seen easily on the x-ray uh, that is before the age of 18 uh, after that you can consider it as one bone with three uh, different uh, parts ilium superior uh, two bones inferior pubic anterior or well, ischial bone posterior okay